going on you guys uh so we're survival islanders here back again with another video our previous video talked about how to reset the nether uh my cousin did that for you um so in this video today i'm going to help you show you how to get uh netherite scrap ancient debris and all that a lot faster so you can get yourself some netherite armor and tools and you know quicker than just searching for it all over the random ass place um so for that when we go to the nether, we're gonna have to you're, first. You're gonna have to locate a soul sand valley biome. If you don't know what that is, just basically look for a giant, big, island, land-looking structure made entirely out of soul sand. It has bone bone structures on it, like fossils and everything on it. You can't miss it. And you're gonna mine down to level 15. So uh, if you don't know what that means, it's when you if you don't have your coordinates up, like you can see on our screen at the top left-hand corner. Uh, then you're gonna hit go down to bedrock and count up from bedrock 15 and dig while walking on light you're gonna walk on layer 15 but we'll, we'll show you what that means here if you don't understand what i'm talking about but you can also find it at levels between levels 8 and 22 but it's most commonly found digging at level y15 so we're gonna show you so first we gotta find the soul sand valley so give us a sec to find a soul sand valley biome. Uh, you can just find them anywhere. And yeah, you can just find them anywhere. When we find one, we'll be be yak. Did you just say yak? We'll be yak. Okay, what's well okay? So you guys, we found the um, found the soul sand valley. So now it's we're gonna right dig down to our... level fifteen. If you watch the coordinates at the top left hand corner, uh, you'll be able to see exactly what we're talking about. Good thing I got also, these soul sand striders. Yeah, soul sand strider three new enchantment allows you to run really fast and stupid soul sand. Also, make sure you have a shovel with you. I didn't make that clear enough even at the beginning. Ow! I was down here for three seconds. Come here. What? Don't be dumb. Don't be retarded. Take a look at what happens if we're gonna dig down your vehicle structure right here. What are you gonna hit? So why don't we dig over here now? Okay, so we're now at 15. <laughs> we're just gonna dig straight underneath it and see what happens here because that's technically what it should be doing. Uh, if you're digging, yeah, see, if you're, you're digging at this level, definitely bring some torches. I guess it is, can still be dark down here. So, well, you'll know Ancient Debris when you see it. Uh, I guess I can't, I mean, unless my associate here can just pull up a picture of it for you. I mean, if you take a look at that there, then that's what you're looking for. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look up a picture of somebody mining Ancient Debris and see what the fuck we're looking at. Oh, Barnacle Boy! Did you find it? I think so, is this it? Alright, so we are at 15, and we just started digging one straight tunnel from our stairs right here, and as you can see, we found some. So this is what it looks like. So if you follow our method, this is pretty much what we're going to do. We're going to keep mining and see if we can find more. Oh, crap. Oh. Okay. Oops. I have too much crap in my stupid inventory. Do you get it? Yeah, I got it. All right, so yeah, if you want to get some good old ancient debris, that's how you get it. And that we'll, was actually easier than I thought. We'll show you what you can do with it once you smelt it and whatever. Gives you netherite brick itself. Yeah, but how many do you need to like add? You to just the need sword? one. You need you need one netherite brick. How do you get out of here? Use oh God! Help! 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 Why? Why did you not use a fireproof potion, you numbskull? I couldn't even collect your stuff if I wanted to. It literally burned. I could not help you. I don't have water, remember? This is another. Alright, so after digging around for a couple minutes here, just making some tunnels at 15, even, like you, you said, good even if... You, here. Even if um you don't find a soul sand valley, you can just dig at 15 and still find it. How many do we have now? Six? Yeah, we got six from only digging a few bucks. Oh my god! What is this thing? I hate these. 
Oh my god, get- no! I hate this! I hate Bo these freaking dumbass pig things! Step off, Boomba! <laughs> oh my god, skeleton raid! But yeah, you just dig at 15. Oh. <laughs> we now have six. So, I hate you, Raymond. That's the easiest way to find netherite debris. Screw off, Puma! Yeah, that's the easiest Step way to find off, nether, Puma. nether debris. <laughs> that's, that's the easiest way to find nether debris is just go to six. So now we're going to go back and we're going to smelt the shit. We're going to show you how to make netherite armor and other stuff. So now that we're back in the lab, we are going to smelt the debris, ancient debris, into netherite scrap. This is what netherite scrap looks like. So then you come over to a crafting table, you take four gold ignot, four netherite scrap, and make a netherite ignot, ign, 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 ign. I call it ignot, you can call it ignot. <laughs> so then you have one, alright, so after you have the ignot and the thing that you want to enchant, come over to a smithing table. Luke, how do you make a smithing table? You just need two iron ignot and you need four pieces of any freaking plank. Yep, right in the crafting table. Come over, and then you put it in, put that in, and then, there you go. You got your netherite weapon and or tool. Kyle, please come over here. Please come over to the incinerating table. Please chuck it into incinerating table. Trust me. I wouldn't be saying that if it was retarded. It's impervious to melting. Netherite can't be burned or destroyed. It also will give you plus eight instead of plus seven on attack damage. Up. Also, it is impervious to fire. You can't burn it. So if you ever accidentally dropped it into lava, for crying out loud, it would just float there. Well, hey, I wonder if that means that we can survive in lava by just having this armor on. Maybe. Well. Thanks for watching, like, and sub. We'll see y'all again in our next post of videos. See you later.